Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to start yield farming on Solana. So why would you want to do that? Well, the ecosystem is immature compared to what we see on Ethereum and the DeFi ecosystem. Much of it is still being built out. A lot of the upcoming projects are still in uh, testnet, uh, in beta. They're giving liquidity mining rewards out and they're airdropping tokens to people. So lots of free money um, will be coming into the Solana ecosystem soon. So I recommend getting in on that. Additionally, the fees on the Solana ecosystem are so ridiculously cheap um, compared to what we see on Ethereum where you might be paying $50 for a transaction. So let's get into how exactly you would start yield farming on Solana. So we're going to need two things. First of all, we're going to need a wallet. And second of all, we're going to need some SOL tokens. So we'll cover the wallet first. Uh, go to phantom.app. And then you can download this crypto wallet and add it as an extension to your Chrome. I've already done this, but what you're going to need to do is just press add to Chrome. Um, and then up here it will say like install. And you do that and it should be nice, easy and quick. Um, I've already done this, so I'm not going to go about doing it again. Um, and so once you have your like wallet installed, uh, you can go up here to like your, your browser extension and then it will ask you to either um, input your recovery phrase or make a new account obviously you're going to need to make a new account you'll get a like secret recovery for, uh, phrase so that'll be like a bunch of words copy that down to a couple pieces of paper scatter it around your house just so make sure that you don't lose it because if you lose that then you lose access to all of your um Solana funds. So once you've got that all up and running, you can come back. I'm just going to log into mine now. There we go. And I'm in. <clears throat> so now that we've got our wallet set up, we now need a place to buy some SOL tokens because that's what will power our transactions on the Solana ecosystem. So we can head over to, to CoinGecko. And then we can scroll all the way down to Sol, Solana. There we go. It's number 10 market cap at the time of this video. It's been rallying a lot. I think it's like doubled in the last two weeks or so. So there's a lot of attention coming towards the Solana ecosystem right now. Um, and then we can go over to markets. And on this page, you can see the variety of different centralized exchanges of which you could buy, um, you know, Sol tokens. Um, I recommend, you know, staying to the, the majors like uh, Binance, Bitfinex, Coinbase, FTX, and so on and so forth. Um, I buy mine from FTX, and there will be a link down in the description below. Um, so you can start your own FTX account that will get you 5% off of fees. So I'm on FTX. Um, I've already bought my Solana tokens quite easy to do um, and for the purpose of this tutorial I haven't bought that much because you actually don't need that much soul because the transactions are just so cheap um, if you bought like one soul that is more than enough for any DeFi activity that a regular person will be doing um, for this demonstration I've got 0 0.09 soul it was one soul but I was using it to test out some transactions so a little bit has been taken so what I'm going to do, I'm going to deposit this soul into my phantom wallet. So if I go up here, click on my wallet, and then I will press receive. So, and then this is my address. So I'll press copy. I'll go to withdraw here. Um, do all of the soul, paste in my address, and then I'm just going to need to type in my uh, 2FA code to get my money off uh, FTX. Okay, I've just made the withdrawal. This will take like a couple minutes for it to all go through into my phantom wallet. Okay, so I'm back now. I think the money has uh, arrived into my phantom wallet. It has. I've got all the Solana there, all the soul tokens. So what I'm going to need to do now is deposit some other assets into my phantom wallet so I can start interacting with the DeFi ecosystem. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send over some dollars um some usdc that is like the main stable coin that we have on the Solana ecosystem right now 
and then from there I can swap them with any other tokens if I, if I want to do any yield farming. But in today's video, I'll be using stable coins and I'll be doing some stable coin yield farming. So if I press here on withdraw, I can withdraw my USDC. Um, Okay, so all that money has hit my account, so we're going to head over to the first farm today, and that's going to be Sabre. So Sabre is a stable swap platform that allows you to swap between uh, different stable coins as well as different, like, wrapped versions of tokens. So we have, like, uh, wrapped Luna and Ren Luna as being one of the things that you can swap between. So how do we go about farming um the Sabre tokens, well, we can press on pools and then go to deposit. Now, if I deposit all my USDC in here, um, it will automatically swap between USDC and USDT to have like uh, a close to an even split. Uh, as you can see here, the, here are the current like reserves um, within the pool. There's currently $47 million um, of total value locked. So we can press here on deposit. We can de confirm deposit, and then our phantom wallet pops up here in the top right, and then we can press approve. So that should be all going through. And now I have 491 uh, LP tokens, and if I go, go ahead and stake them, I can start receiving Sabre tokens. Um, so we go over to farms. So we're in the USDT, USDC one, so we can press stake. And then we're going to want to stake our 491 LP tokens. I can press deposit there. Phantom Wallet is going to pop up again. I'm going to press approve. And boom, there we go. So this is liquidity that I've staked. And then I will, will be receiving 2.54 uh, Sabre tokens a day. So what you can do when you receive them, um, all you need to do is like press claim. Um, which will come up here and that will automatically transfer your Sabre tokens from the smart contract and then into your Phantom wallet. You can sell them for USDC and then auto compound and then um, put it put more into the farm or you can hold on to them and um, perhaps they appreciate in price. So for example, these Sabre tokens that you can get uh, per day right now, there would be considerably more if the price of Sabre was a lot less. So when the liquidity mining program first started for uh, Sabre, the price of each individual Sabre token was ridiculously low. If I go here, um, so right now each token is 22 cents. When it first started, each token was like at one cents. Um, so it's had an incredible rally. So you could have sold off your Sabre tokens and then auto compounded, or you could have held on to them and then experienced like the gains from price appreciation there. So our next stablecoin farm is Mercurial Finance and uh, basically they do a similar thing to what Curve does on Ethereum and what Sabre does here on Solana. So they're another stablecoin swap platform. Uh, as you can see here they have USDC, USDT, Pi and wrapped UST. Um, but they offer something slightly different so you can have the tri pools. So if you deposit free uh, stable coins in there and then you can receive your yield. Currently right now you can see that you can get 36.31% uh, APY on your stables if you enter this pool. Um, currently it's it's what you're getting is like 20, 20 or 30% um, of mercurial tokens and then like the last sort of percentage is uh, Ren Luna which you'll receive and then you can hold on to that and experience the gains from uh, Luna price appreciation as well. Um, and then if you go on to rewards, here is where you'd collect it. Up here is where you'd see uh, claim, and then you could go down here. Um, so up here, it will tell you, tell you how many rewards you have to claim, and then you scroll down here, and then you'll be able to claim them, and then you can send it to your Phantom um, wallet. Francium protocol is a leveraged yield, far yield farming protocol, so here you can um, borrow money to then yield farm. Obviously, it's like quite risky, 
Um, but this is just another thing for you DGEN farmers to use. And we can see here that if you yield farm like USDC with 3x leverage, you can get a 539% return. And then we go here to uh, Solrise Finance, we have 318% return. And we can see here that the borrowing interest is absolutely insane what is going on. So you can currently, um, so I was just taking a look at the borrow interest here and it is in, insanely high. Um, and it appears as there's not much like uh, lending activity going on in Francium. So if you go over to the lending pools, you can put in your USDC and receive 113% uh, APR. As you can see here, there is 822,000 USDC supplied and 804,000 um, being borrowed. So the utilization ratio is quite high. And that is what leads to the quite ridiculously high uh, borrowing interest rates here. So, listen, there's lots of opportunity on Solana. Um, if you want to go ahead and look, there's lots of different resources out there. Um, I'll be creating more videos as well. And then we can go through different um, Solana DeFi protocols um, as well. And I'll show you how to use them. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and this has been educational. Uh, subscribe for more videos like this one.